Meek Mill to the interrogation room, Jesus. Now, I'm not saying that Meek Mill is guilty and filthy. I'm just saying that maybe they should, you know, <laughs> talk to him. Anyways, TMZ posted a story on February 2nd of 2017 titled Nicki Minaj Home Hit and $200,000 Burglary. Here's what TMZ had to say about it. Nicki Minaj is about $200,000 worse for wear after a burglary at her LA mansion, TMZ has learned. Law enforcement sources tell us the 11,500 square foot palace. Pause. 11,500 feet, bitch. My motherfucking school wasn't 11,500 feet, but that's none of y'all business. Anyways, law enforcement sources tell us the 11,500 square foot palace was totally trashed on the inside. The suspect or suspects knocked over and flipped furniture and items all over the house, almost as if they were frantically looking for something. They were successful. We're told the burglars made off with a ton of jewelry and other property, and there were clear signs of forced entry and spots around the house. Other sources connected to the case tell us the damage looks like this was personal. They vandalized certain items in the house, destroyed picture frames, perfume bottles, furniture, and even cut up Nikki's clothing. Nikki's team reported the burglary earlier this week. She was out of town. We're told police are looking for any surveillance video of the culprits, but as of now, no suspects. Of course, everybody's like, did Shriek Mill have anything to do with it? You know, <laughs> Shriek Mill? Instead of meat meal because he stays he's screaming. <laughs> no, but seriously. Oh, man. You don't have any damn uh, camera footage that you know of yet? I mean, I would think there would be cameras every freaking where. When you live in an 11,500 square foot home that the news is calling a fucking palace. I would think that you would have cameras up your asshole. And... And I'm not victim blaming. I'm not saying it's Nikki's fault at all. I'm just saying that there should be plenty of surveillance footage. When you have a big house like that, you better protect it. Shit. I remember my first home was a little ass shack. For real. I called it Baby Shaquille because it was a little shack. And, you know, I had cameras everywhere. I had cameras in my bathroom, videotaping me peeing and taking a poop. Oh, okay, maybe not that. There wasn't, okay, there wasn't, there wasn't a camera in the bathroom. The point, was, the point is this. I had cameras just about everywhere. And that's when I was living in a little tiny starter home. It was one bedroom and the fucking bathroom was in the bedroom along with the kitchen. Everything. It was one of those little tiny houses that you see on TV. Well, you know, one of the houses where you do a cartwheel and you go out the window. Yeah, one of those. You could do a cartwheel in through the front door and out the back door. Yep. Just like that. It was a tiny little. It was a little sliver of a room. All right. And I had cameras everywhere. Jesus. So I couldn't imagine living in a house where two hundred thousand dollars worth of damage could be done. I mean, shit, my, listen, my whole life isn't worth $200,000, my lord. If you add up all my assets and my ass itself, it still does not add up to $200,000. Real talk, rip walk. That's a whole lot of money. I mean, holy schnitzel, brittle, my lord. I hope that someday be worth $200,000. I hope that someday make that in a year. That's a lot of money for me. I mean, you know, I live in my mama's garbage can at the moment. But anyways, let me find out that Meat Mill has something to do with it. Maybe he didn't. Let me stop because I ain't trying to get sued or get my ass whooped or both. I'm not trying to get my ass whooped and then get sued uh, for, muddying, for muddying up somebody's fist. You know, I, I don't want to soil somebody's shirt with my dirt. And then, you know. Anyways, uh, let me know what you think about it all below. Who do you think did it? Do you think it was Meek Mill? Uh, do you think it was maybe somebody else that she knows? Maybe some people she was doing DVDs with back in the day? Or, you know, uh, maybe somebody from the record label? Do you think maybe it was somebody from the Illuminati? Who do you think did it? Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter, Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 or Google Plus. Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Remember, protect your home, get cameras everywhere, and get Barrett M107s, 50 caliber BMG sniper rifles pointed at every door and every window. They're only $15,000, all right? Barrett M107s. All right, Jesus, had the motherfuckers pointed there. As soon as they see that shit, they will run the fuck away because they don't want to get blown the fuck away, all right? 10 rounds in the motherfucking magazine. Meet that magazine, biatch.